What's going on guys, it's Ex Machina here. Today we're going to do a quick breakdown of the first track from the Sunshine Suicides album. It's going to be pretty quick, actually it's super, super short, uh, but essentially we're going to go through every element that I've used uh, and then kind of explain uh, what I did. Uh, but just right off the bat, you can see from the BPMs, it's 79 BPM. And then we have a few elements over here. So we have our kick and bass, we got the leads, we got the snare, hats, we got the crash, and then we got the special sounds, the Ex Machina sounds, and then we got the vocals, and then the glitchy vinyl. So I'm gonna go over each one and then we'll just solo them so you can hear it. But this is the kick and bass, essentially what it sounds like. Pretty simple. And as you can see, I go surgically in and I will try to get rid of any sort of dead space uh, that I don't need uh, just to make it a little bit more punchy. All right, and so we have that pretty much throughout the track. And then we have our leads. This is probably where most of the sound from this track comes from. But we'll start from the beginning. All right, so just right off the bat, I could tell you that the roads over here, what this is doing is it's moving part of it to the left, part of it to the right to give it a more open sound. But what I use for the actual Rhodes piano, um, if we go to contact here. All right. What I primarily use is going to be like the, it just depends really, but um, for example, the A200, the Scarby, uh, Scarby, I don't know how to say it, but that's what I use right here. I don't know if you can hear it or not because it's soloed. Hopefully it doesn't blow anybody's ears out. Okay, and then what I do is uh, you can add RC20 on top or I use uh, OCS45. And what this is is like a vinyl plugin. Um, this will give it like a weird sound uh, or like a old timey sound. I'll use like any random like Lucid Dream, get rid of the noise crackle in. This gives it a little bit more character. Um, and that's essentially what I used right here. And then uh, for the intro sound, it's actually the same thing, but it's glitched out. And the way that I do my glitches is I use the warps. We'll get into detail in another video on that, but I utilize the beat warp quite a bit to get all of the glitchy sounds that I use for the dark lo-fi glitch style. Um, okay, so let's move on though. Uh, so we have the main leads and we have the kick and bass. The next section is gonna be the, uh, the rest of the drums, so we have like the snare and then the hats. Now the biggest thing with the snare and the hats, the way that I get, you can hear like the, the warp sound, that's like a staple in like the Ex Machina sound. Uh, and the way that I use that is uh, super massive. We'll pull, you know, super massive, it's totally free. You know, and then you can add it on your global snares. And this, this just gives it like, just like a oomph to, to the drum. So it doesn't like keep it the same and it gives it like that, that glitchy sound. Um, that's, I, I put that on my snare and my hats on both every track. Uh, this just gives it that, um, you know, that consistency between each track. Okay. Very vibey. And then obviously we have the crash, so. Super basic. Uh, you can actually see that I don't use too many effects. I probably should, but a lot of, a lot of the effects that I use is actually from my signature sound here. So we'll actually get into that part right here. 
So this is my favorite part here. Um, so as you can see, this is Tree Tone. It's a plugin uh, with Ableton. And what it does is it creates randomized sound uh, and I actually have it set to the scale of this track. And then I'll play it at random, which then I'll chop it up. But then I'll run a uh, plugin over that, which is like Valhalla Frequency Echo, for example. And then you'll you'll get like a very interesting sound, you know. And that's how I get my signature Ex Machina sound. Honestly, it's pretty pretty simple, but it just keeps everything flowing. Yeah. Next section is the vocals. So the biggest thing with the vocals is um, having the stereo width. You can hear that it's just coming from everywhere. Um, so what I use is this Brower Motion stereo. I'll use that both on like this, but also sometimes like on my vocals you can see right here. But then on some vocals I'll use my favorite um, analog collapse preset. That comes with Ableton. So a lot of the stuff that I use is really simple, like not super expensive. Um, I think the most expensive you can get is the piano and the guitar and stuff. But um, you know, even for the even for the leads, like for example, I don't think I went over the guitar. Um, but essentially, it's guitar rig. You get the effects uh, from guitar rig, and then I use stock Ableton's guitar sounds. And even with the piano. And then this is the intro. So this is the guitar, but actually like I use like the beat warp to get the stretches and the artifacting. You'll notice that all my intros kind of sound like that. And then the final element of the track is going to be your vinyl sound. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but... It's actually a little bit glitchy. Um, the way that I also do that is uh, I utilize the the beat warp and then stretch the crap out of it, um, you know. And then you get this really nice uh, textured sound. And then obviously you gotta you know side chain everything to your kick and snare, um, which is what I do. But besides that, I mean that that's all like the main part, the main meat of the whole entire production style that I do uh, for Ex Machina. And you'll notice that on the future breakdown videos that I do. Uh, they'll all be similar because I actually utilize templates. Uh, so it's it's very, very good to utilize templates, but I have two type two templates. Essentially, I'll pull all of my instruments in with this one or the second template that I've made. I usually try to create a new template for every album. Uh, the last two I actually utilize these two together in a mix. So yeah, that's, that's the track Suicides in a nutshell.